Right, quick video, what to do when your battery goes flat on your Disco 3. So our project Disco 3 has been parked up here and we've let it go flat. Um, normally they live inside, but we're running out of room. Um, so we put him outside and we, the battery's gone flat. Don't know why. I think it's just cold weather and batteries, which is not uncommon this time of the year. So how do you... Right, now we, we tried the old key. Come here, Dan. So you, I think you're supposed to be able to remove this um key here now you're supposed to put your key up inside but ours has been poke it up and that exposes the manual key right so you're supposed to be able to put your key in there and unlock it but it's it's having nothing so I, it might actually that might be more this this key is if your battery's gone flat in your key fob and it can't activate but it doesn't seem to mechanically link to the lock does it now whether our car's just rubbish dan i don't know um but there we go so that's try that that should get you in and and, and your key should get you in right if that doesn't work you're kind of stuck um because you can't get in your car um your battery is flat your key fob's not working so the only way now there was someone saying that you could link on to your side repeaters but we tried that and that didn't work um so really you need to find a battery positive so what we've done is we've jacked the car up um and what you've got to basically do is get your battery charger on your starter motor cable so if you have a look underneath let's have a look now dan's done this for me so if you go under your car oh you got the light well done man you slide it under let's have a look let's have a look if that that there is a red cable up there Okay, can you see that red? We can see the red clip he's got on there, but there's a red cable. And basically you've got to go on to that starter motor cable. I'm not helping, hopefully you can see something. Ah, oh, there we go, look. You've got to get on to that. And we've put our C-Tech charger on it. And we know ooh, when the C-Tech charger's good, we know because it, now it's got a, what's it pulsing there for, Dan? I, I'm not sure it's good, it's got the, it's got the eye light there going down so i don't think you're on it should be going on to step one then so go go underneath and have a wiggle dan and i'll tell you let's see if two of us can do it tell you when you get on the right bit i'm too old for getting under there all right then. so yeah let's have a look i'll tell you when it's on the right see if i can get it the right way up so you've got, a, you've got a good earth on something, right, Dan? One end's on yeah. the air. All right, that's gone off completely now. So so what you're on was something, Dan, because it's gone off completely. Yeah. Oh, I've got the key. You're dropping the keys around. Oh, that, that got it. Um... No, that's not got it. Hasn't even got the. No, that's got the error flashing light. You got nothing there. I'll give you a shout if anything changes. The error. That's giving us the error flashing light. No, it's still error. It's still error, but it's obviously connected to something. You haven't got it the wrong way round, have you? No. <laughs> um. Right. We'll keep going. We'll have a little look. I've left it on here. Right, so we, we've had a look and you can... Oh, hold on, it's gone off again, Dan. He did have it right. The problem was the earth wasn't good. So I've put the earth on one of our shiny wheel nuts there. You want a nice shiny bit of metal. That's it, Dan. You're on. You're on. Yeah. So there we go. We got it on to one and two. So if you can get out there without moving or dislodging anything, Dan. Um, and we'll see how that goes in a minute. We'll leave that on for ten minutes. And we'll see. Well done, Dan. Round of applause for Dan, everyone. Whee! And we'll come back in a minute and see if that works. So we'll leave that charging. So this could be, this is not the end of the video. We'll come back and see how it gets on, but this could be how to do it. Right, so we've been on charge for, how long been it? Half an hour or so? Yeah. yeah. Um, right, and here's the, here's the key. We know this works. We're pretending we're a big reveal, but there you go. I'm in, get in. Let's have a look. Does that let us in now? Interesting, we ought to try that key fob the other side, didn't we? Yeah. So let's have a look. We're in now, no alarms going off, nothing, it's all happy. Um, lock it, Dan, and let's have a look whether that keyhole on this, what that little cap off that side, 
and see if that key then unlocks it. No, that still doesn't do anything, does it? So you, yeah, it might be a problem for you or not, but if your battery's totally flat, it's, it's, it's a solution. It's getting under the car, but give that a go first. Um, it may unlock your car, it may not. Um, but there we go. Good luck with that in this cold weather. Maybe some people have got a holiday home, they're flash, and they just leave the car and they come back after a few months. But that might get someone out of a pickle. It will be the same on the Range Rover Sport as well. The Range Rover Sport 2005 to 2009, Discovery 3, Discovery 4, it'll all be pretty much the same. If you've got a different engine, the starter might, might be in a slightly different place. But basically, you're going to have to get yourself a Dan, get them to crawl underneath, and then have a go. All right, good luck.